So this video is about using the lifesteal roasts so that you can solo group dungeons all by yourself and make 3.3 million fame per hour with the right gear. But unfortunately I forgot to eat the roast so the first 9 minutes of the video is just me soloing the dungeon without it. But if you want to see the power of the roast where I can clear an entire room of mobs with over 9000 health and be at 100% almost the entire time then you can check out that part of the video. Otherwise it's a great axe build that will allow you to solo group dungeons and if you have a massive amount of silver stock Piled, you can easily afford it in the fame credits. This is not for treasure, this is only for fame. Swole Benji here. So, this is a really quick video because a patch just dropped just now when this video comes out with roast pork. Roast pork will give you a 9.45% chance of damage you deal to be returned back to you. And what this will let you do is you can solo group dungeons with a great axe build. And you could, you could solo dungeons before this, but this makes it so damn easy and so risk-free. Now, un unless you're max spec, you can't really solo a bunch of the bosses, so this is not for money. This will cost you a lot of silver and fame credits, okay? And I don't have it, but you should also get an 8.3 satchel if you're doing this. This will be about 3.3 million fame per hour if you do it with premium, wow. with the satchel, and with auto respect turned on, and everything at 100 spec, okay? If you're 7 out of 700 and you're super loaded, you could get an 8.3 uh, Spectre Jacket for faster clear because this self-ignition will wow. let you life steal from that. But just to be safe, Hellion Jacket works amazingly well. It is nerfed down to 5 targets, but you're not really going to fight five targets now the group dungeon that i recommend is the grove keeper dungeons here these mobs are very slow you can circle and spin around them and they're not very dangerous and they give the most experience out of all the dungeons that i've ran in group dungeons these are the ones that give the most so let's go over the build real quick for the hand of core which is the 8.3 great x you want all your gear to be 8.3 if you're not 8.3 you're just gonna be dying you're gonna be clearing so slow it's not gonna be worth it you want the rending spin you want the raging blades and the increased defense. So you're going to be spamming, when you're not spinning with E, you're going to be spamming spacebar to auto attack to pop this so you have a lot of resistance. Now for the helmet, I highly recommend Scholar's Cal. It's not mandatory, but for me, this solves your mana problems and it makes you tanky as heck for a very long time with a short cooldown. So this makes clearing trash super easy and fast. So energy shield with the passive aggression so you do more damage. Now, Hellion Jacket is for your sustain. You don't really use this. You can use this if you've got the mob under control. But if you're low on health, you pop this and you, you come right back up. It's going to double dip with the Roast Pork. And for the passive, you want Balanced Mind. Now, for the boots, I love Guardian Boots. Guardian Boots are great. Giant basically makes you take literally no damage during the duration. So you just want to go ahead and use that with the passive of Toughness. So let's go ahead and get started. These mobs would normally kill most players, but I'm just going to hit Q here, W, E, and dodge the skill, uh, the little attacks on the ground there. And look at that, they're both halfway dead. Also, I didn't write it on the tooltip, but you want Demon Cape, so when you auto, you can put a little lava pile under them. That will also increase your life still. I haven't used any of my defensives in this fight, but this guy's going to start spinning, so now I can pop my shield, and I could just stand in it. I can also use my lifesteal aura from the chest here, and I'm, I'm in no danger of dying. Look at my health, it's just popping right back up. I even took that hit. I am completely and absolutely fine. Now, because this character doesn't have premium running, because it is the test realm, and I don't have the satchel, you see the fame that's popping up? That was like 3.3k there, 1.6k and another one. Double that. Take those numbers and double it. And that's how much fame you're going to be getting per kill. Like, I just made the amount of fame that an entire tier 5 solo dungeon gave. And look at that. Look at this. 1.6, 1.6. That's 3.2 with the satchel and premium so i just made like six point something k fame and you could kill these you don't have to but it makes things super simple so remember for food you want the roast pork i bring health potions just in case i get into a, a pinch but uh let's take this fight this fight would be very hard this wizard would hit you very very hard i don't really care i'm just gonna run in and aoe these guys down look at how look how much damage they're taking look how much fame i'm getting I'm just going to use the lifesteal aura with the with the lava here. The pork is healing me. I'm being healed by the lifesteal aura, by the auto attacks, and by the bleed stacks. And you can get so much fame so fast by doing this, but it will cost you a lot of silver because of fame credits. Like, when I was doing this on live before the roast pork, I was spending about 1 to 2 million silver per hour and making 3.3-ish, no, I was making 2.6 million uh, fame per hour, and that was before satchels existed in the game. 
Like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through the the lightning field here. No worries. I'm gonna I can stand in this. It's fine. Because of the life still like the but without the pork, this is actually kind of a little difficult, and you have to be careful. But with the pork, it's brainless. I can stand in all the attacks. It doesn't matter. Like I'm standing in this lightning, this lightning attack. I'm standing in the wizard's AOE lightning. It's it's simple. It's so easy. It's the easiest fame in the game, and I'm sure this will get nerfed or something. Something they they have to nerf the port. I didn't make this video before the patch went live because uh, lately SBI's uh, mod team has been kind of dicks. They like to mute a lot of my characters for speaking their mind in the English chat, which I don't really appreciate. So. Now, if I'm really in danger of going down here, I could have used a potion, but we got this. Now, one downside is, um, unless you bring multiple foods, or you swap out your uh, armor to the health of generation, you're going to be waiting on your health sometimes. Especially if you're playing like me, completely reckless, standing at attacks. So, uh, even, even with that, even with the downtime that we kind of have right now, it's still more fame per hour. But the problem is, is you can't really solo bosses... Now, if you're at max spec, you can kind of solo the bosses, but uh, you, you don't get that much treasure for it to actually be worth. It's going to swap back because our health is going to regenerate before we can even use the ability. The treasure you get is not really worth it, so this is not a money-making thing. And personally, I don't do this. I, I, I will not do this because it costs money. And to me, I would rather build more houses and build more islands than just fame up fast. Now, one thing you want to avoid in these dungeons is the Earth Mothers here, or Earth Child as they're labeled. They just, they buff things and they make fights super difficult. Now, this this room really sucks. Like, these two mobs, they're good for farm. We could probably kill them, so let's just go ahead. Now, if you're fighting, like, dual wizards and they get buffed like this, they, they hurt really bad. Right? Look how much damage I'm taking from them. But they're dead. Normally, I would advise running away from this. Just skip this. Just run past. But this thing has no chance to kill us. So, and look at the fame we're going to get. This thing has like 9,700 health, and it gave us 3.378. Remember, that would be double premium and the satchels. So I'm going to skip the wizards. Like, th these are fine. They're kind of spread out, so they're a little hard to AoE. Uh, I really don't want to waste time on them. The best farm are the male little trash mobs here with the big clubs. They give the most. Uh, I think it's like, yeah, 2,200, double that to 4,500-ish with the satchel and premium. It, it just gets insane. And we're going to stand in his AoE with the growth. So growth on the boots, or giant as it's called, doubles your health, which essentially means you're taking half as much damage per mob. It's just crazy. Now, oh, the bears. The bears are the easiest fight in the game, and let me show you, right? Like, you may think that they're scary, but they're not. You just spin in circles around the bear, and it will never hurt you. Same goes for the tree monsters. Like, look at this. The, the bear is doing no damage. You just spin in a circle. I can hit spacebar every once in a while to take a regular attack swing at it, but this thing will never kill me. Like, I will heal more than it does damage. It's so simple, right, guys? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it give it a like. I need you guys to like the video. That that helps the algorithm immensely. And this is something that I've been kind of keeping secret for a long time because I used to use this, but it started costing way too much. And uh, with the patch and with this stupid stupid food, this roast pork, it just, it just messes up so many things. So abuse this while you can before it gets nerfed. And I will see you guys in the next video. I normally don't pump out videos so close together. I'm gonna gather these bears up. Oh no, I'm going to take big damage. Look out. See, I can pop my cooldowns. It's, it's no problem. You just pop your cooldowns, make sure you lay down some lava pools, and it's just easy fame farming. I really should end the video so it doesn't get too long. Because you guys only, it says you guys only watch like four minutes of the video out of it, like eight or 12 minute videos. So I got to make these a little shorter. And remember, if you ever get into a, like, a pinch, then you can just pop your, uh, your healing potion. And uh, it's all good. Just make sure that your food buff is still up. Oh my god, Did, this whole video, <laughs> oh my god, this whole video, I didn't even use the roast pork, holy shit. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm not refilming this, so let's, okay, I just now ate the roast pork, so now we have the lifesteal on, 
Let's let these guys hurt us a little bit. Let's let's take some damage. Oh, let's get more bears. Yeah, I like that. Let's get more bears. So we're gonna fight three bears in a tree. <laughs> yeah, hurt me, hurt me harder. Okay, let's let's start the let's start the fight now. Watch my health. I haven't even popped the armor yet. See now, you just spin in a circle on these guys, and they're gonna slow you down, and that's okay. And I'm gonna stop auto attacking because that's a little risky right now because of the Trent's slow attack. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the uh, armor there, and we're full. We're fully healed in a group dungeon by ourselves. Can you believe it, guys? And look at all the fame we're about to get from this. Again, it's the test realm, so I don't really care. But <laughs> remember, all this fame would be doubled. Let's wait for the. It's gonna take a while for the uh, scrolling combat text to catch up. Look, look at this, I'm, I'm sitting on almost full HP. <laughs> okay, 3,300, 3,300, that would be 6, 12, 18, 21, so that's like 25 to 30,000 fame, easy. And then that that's that's in fame credits, um, but when you're at 100% spec, your fame credits is converted at 160% rate. So let's say 30,000, 100, or I'm sorry, 160% rate, that would be... Uh, 48,000 fame credits. Fame credits count as two fame, so that would be 96,000 fame that you could immediately dump into something. 96,000 fame from just that one fight. One fight, guys. Okay, so anyway, that's the power of the roast pork, which I didn't have active the whole video. How embarrassing, how embarrassing is that? Anyway, you guys, uh, be a bro and stay swole and return your shopping carts. Why do I have to tell you this?